What's up everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today we've got the brand new Discmania drop. This is in the Color Glow Plastic. It's Nikolas Antilus Creator Series disc. Discmania finally has a zone. Basically every brand in disc golf at this point has come up with their own version of the disc wrap zone. I'd say this one kind of feels like an Prodigy A2 bottom with a zone top. That's my opinion of how it feels, but let's see how it flies. It's supposed to be stable, so let's take the hyzer line and pull one here. <sighs> yeah, it's nice and stable. Let me get a little skip. Should be in the circle on hole one. Let's get after it. All right, hole one, we put ourselves just outside circle one, but the drop flew really nice right there, nice and stable. Oh, I thought that was drained. All right, let's see if we can get hole two. All right, hole two, 237 feet. See if we can hit the flex line with the drop here. Little bit of Anheuser through the gap. Hopefully she's beefy enough to swing out. Oh, perfect line, hit the last tree, that's tough. So the Discmania drop is going to replace the Tactic in a lot of Discmania players' bags. The Tactic, for some it flies good, for some it feels good. But I feel like most people that bag a full Discmania bag want to have a more zone-like disc in their bag. That mold is just an iconic mold. It's become a staple in every pro player's bag. Um, the Zone, the Toro, basically every brand has their version of the same mold. And now we have a really nice color glow version of that style of mold from Discmania. And I think a ton of people are going to really like it. Just after a few throws, I'm really happy with how stable it's been thus far. Unfortunately, we hit the last tree. Try and make the greatest putt of all time through this left gap here. <laughs> all right, we're gonna, gonna have to take our second part of the day. But I'm not a huge fan of the artwork. I think the artwork is kind of weird, um, but really the side profile is all that matters. I feel like most zones kind of come down a little bit more. This kind of comes that little 45 degree angle there. That's very A2-esque, um, very harp-esque but I don't know if a zone has quite this much angle on it. Feels very similar to a zone still, but I kind of feel like A2 bottom zone top is kind of where my opinion is lying thus far. One of the most important things about this disc is the ability to get a nice clean forehand on it. We're gonna get our four, first forehand of the day here on hole three, put on a little bit of flex and see if we can get the swing back towards the pin. Nice and stable. Oh yeah, that should be absolutely parked. The drop is a nice disc. Good job, Discmania. Oh no, wide left. Hole four is a 214 foot par four. Very similar line to hole three. We just wanna hit a slight baby flex here. Have it fade back towards the pin. I'm happy to see how overstable that is. The tactic was never quite stable enough for most players. The drop's getting a lot more swing to the left at the end of the flight. I think that's gonna be the difference maker for most people of, people are gonna be switching to the drop away from the tactic because of that overstability. And although I, I think the stamp is a little weird, I think the mold is perfect thus far, exactly what people are gonna want from that zone clone from Discmania. All right, all right, it's really gonna test my power here on hole five, 226 feet, straight uphill. Try and give it the Annie Flex full power. Oh, Yankees. The New York Yankees are in town. Oh, man. All right. Hole six, one of our longer holes we're going to play today. 280 feet <laughs> after the New York Yankees coming in on the last hole. We need to find a way to hit this gap. It's going to have to be, again, an Anheuser line if we want to have any shot of getting there. There it is. That's pretty good. Get up there. It's going to be circle's edge, I believe. Should have a nice look at the birdie. All right, got ourselves a nice inside the circle look. It's 280 foot par three. It's on a little bit of Anheuser. It's got a good long pushing flight on it. Ah, right side. Hole seven, 263. Let's throw one in. That is a chance. A little short. Darn. It should be parked, but all right, hole seven. 
nice tap and birdie. Let's go. Perfect hole for the drop. Yeah, I don't know. Hole eight, we've got another great forehand hole for the drop. Coming hot off a of birdie. Let's see if we can't make it two in a row here. We need a nice flex shot here. No. All right, last hole of the day, hole nine. We have one more flex forehand opportunity. Messed up the last one. Let's see if we can't make the correction. Get the flex over to the right. A lot of angle. Has no problem swinging back the end. It's going to get us one last birdie putt of the day. Hopefully we can knock one more down. I am super curious to see if Niklas will be replacing his tactic entirely or if he'll be using the tactic and the drop in combination with one another. So I feel like part of Niklas's brand is that prototype C-line tactic that him, Casey White, and a few other Discmania players were using because it was the most stable run of tactic. Curious to see if he uses them both or if he just uses the drop now. I'm also curious to see what Gannon's thoughts on the drop are. Overall, I've enjoyed throwing it thus far. Um, let's see if we can knock down one last birdie putt. Then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the disc. Putter's been a little bit cheeks today, but one last circle one bid here. Ah, left side again. Well, all right, guys, I need to know, will you be checking out the brand new Discmania drop? I think if you're a fan of the zone and you're a fan of Discmania or you're a fan of that zone type disc in general, I think these are not quite as puddle toppy as the zone, um, but they're still flat, but maybe not quite as puddle toppy. That's probably the biggest difference from the zone that I can see um, after throwing it for a nine hole round. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys plan on getting one? And if you do plan on getting one, go get it over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICEBERG10. It'll save you 10% on your order and all orders are $70 shipped for free. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate you guys. Have gratitude. Be humble. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.